Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. We're continuing solving practice questions on topic uh, one and topic two. Uh, we'll solve one of the questions from the document I shared uh, with you in Google uh, Drive, which will be question number this document. Practice on topic one and topic 2.1 and we will solve this question. Question number 10 in the document. So you, we have the question says a test model of a two stage rocket is fired vertically upward from the surface of Earth. The sketch graph shows how the vertical speed of the rocket varies with time. So here I have a relationship between vertical speed, the speed in Y direction with time, time in second, and here is speed in meter per second. Okay, now, uh, what is the question? He wants me to find the maximum, tell the rocket takes off until the first stage of the rocket reach its maximum height. Show that the maximum height reached by the first stage of the rocket is about 170 meter. When you have a velocity, when you have a relationship between velocity versus time, we know distance equals velocity times time. Distance or displacement, it's velocity versus time. So distance or displacement, it's velocity times time. So if I, if I find the area under the graph, the area under the graph, it should give me the displacement. So the maximum height reach, all I need to do is just find the area under the graph. So the area, here we have a triangle, the area of a triangle is half. So displacement, this is I, displacement or distance or the maximum height will be the area under the graph, the area it will be half. P is, is this distance from here till here, times the height, times the height. The height is all of this distance from here till here, which is around 35. Five times uh, 35, it will give me 175 meter, but I don't want to find the whole distance. I need, as you notice here, the distance is, is less than 100, um, 155. It's this distance still here, not the whole triangle. So it will be around 170. We can round it, less than 175, so it's just around 170 meter. This is the maximum height, the maximum height. So H maximum. Okay, double I, on reaching it is maximum height, the first stage of the rocket falls away. Okay, and the second stage fires so that the rocket acquired a constant horizontal velocity. So I have a rocket, falls down, it falls down from initial speed, when it's falling down, it will be zero meter per second, it will go down till it reach here a speed, it will be maximum before it hits the ground, we didn't know the value of the speed. Height here, since it's moving down, it will be negative, moving down negative, moving up is positive, so Y will be negative 170 meter. Horizontal velocity is constant, always horizontal velocity when you have a projectile motion, U in X direction or V initial X direction is constant and it's equal to 56 meter per second. So if I write this in, in a table, I can write here, here I have X direction, Y direction, initial in X direction is always constant, it's 56 meter per second. In Y direction, the initial speed equals zero. Acceleration in Y direction is negative 10 meter per second square. Y in Y direction, negative 170 meter. 
V in Y direction, we don't know. And a time also, a time till it reach the ground also, we don't know. So we have five variables. The thing that we need to find, we need to find time till it reach, just before it reach the ground and the velocity just before it reach the ground. After that, in the question, I have to find the total velocity. Calculate the velocity at the instant when the second stage of the rocket returns to the surface of Earth. So I need V final, V final, okay, or the, the resultant velocity. So first, I need to find for, I need to find a time when it reaches just before it hit the ground. I can use this equation, y equals u initial in y direction times t plus half acceleration in y direction times t squared y in direct u in y direction is zero, so this is cancel. So I have half acceleration is negative ten t squared. We don't have it and y is negative 170. Let's finish it here. So I will have negative, negative 170 equal minus 5t squared, divide both sides by negative 5, by negative 5, and take a square root for both sides. So T will equal 5.8 second. I have a time, so I can find the velocity just before it hit the ground. I can use this equation, U in Y direction plus acceleration in Y direction times time. U initial in Y direction is zero, it's a free fall. So V in Y direction will be negative 10 times 5.8 and it will give me negative 58 meter per second. Of course, it's negative because the rocket is moving down. I need V final. V final, we'll do it here. Now, before I have U initial, U initial in X direction, which equal U final in X direction. So U initial, which equal V final X direction is always constant. And the value is 56 meter per second and I have negative negative down negative this is v final is negative 58 negative it means it's moving down so the resulting velocity it will be this one from here till here so I need to find the resultant or a total velocity and of course we can take this angle with the horizontal or this one with the vertical so v final where is this one first? So V total will be square root. I'm going to use Pythagoras theorem because these velocities, they are perpendicular. So Pythagoras theorem, 56 square plus negative 58 square. And this will give me 80 meter per second. This is the final, the resultant velocity. I need to find the direction of this velocity with the horizontal. I can use this theta or this one. So I'm going to use the angle with the horizontal. It will be tan inverse opposite over adjacent. So tan inverse opposite is negative 58 and adjacent it will be 56 and this will give me if we put this one on the calculator shift tan inverse negative 58 divided by 56 give me negative 46 degree with the horizontal with the horizontal of course you can use this one but in this case, the opposite for this angle, the angle will be measured from the vertical direction. The opposite, it will be 56 and the adjacent side, it will be negative 58. Now, second part of the question. OK, and this you will study it in uh, topic uh, three, but we'll do, we'll do it anyway. 
Um, here you have the rocket reach the maximum height when the first stage fall away. Use this data to calculate the speed at which the second stage of the rocket start to orbit. Orbit, it means it's going to rotate circular motion around Earth. So the forces that is responsible for the uh, centripetal acceleration, it will be uh, gra gravitational force. So the gravitational force G, mass of Earth times M, mass of the rocket, divided by R squared distance will equal mass times the centripetal acceleration, mass centripetal acceleration V squared over R. Mass of the rocket, they cancel out, R with R, so I will get V will equal take square root both sides, G times mass of Earth divided by R. So this will equal G, it's six gravitational constant, 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11 times mass of Earth here is given to us, which is six times 10 to the power 24 divided by radius of Earth is 6.4 times 10 to the power six. And when you calculate this one, after you round it to three significant figure, you should get 7.75 times 10 to the power three meter per second. That's it. We'll solve next video. Uh, one question on topic uh, one. Thank you.